question is, why are we here? Um, my wife, Brill, and I came here this summer uh, in July, and uh, I wasn't here 10 minutes. I was standing in front of the, the Voices video downstairs. I wasn't here 10 minutes. And I said, we need to bring our team here. It was one of the great tragedies in our country's history, September 11, 2001. Uh, I think the memorial to commemorate that, uh, it's impossible to do it better. We got a glimpse of it, it's impossible to do it better. Uh, so simple, uh, elegant, and just really, really, really well done. That's not why we're here. I know it's impossible to do the elevators any better. That's the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. Stand in, look forward, and you're gonna go up and they're gonna give you the history of New York City in 42 seconds. And they're gonna show buildings come up and come down. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. It's not why we're here. The view, 360 degrees around this unbelievable city. Just walk around this room that we're in. There's no better view on the planet than this view. 102 stories up, looking at New York City from every angle. That's not why we're here. When we came here in July, we walked into that Voices area, and I think it's meant for people to walk through it. I took about three steps and I stopped. And I watched it. I watched it again and again and again. I couldn't move. The reason we're here are those voices. And what those people said. And as I stood there watching it with Brill looking at me like, can we get going? I thought about us. I thought about our football team. The expression that I use with you guys more than any other is mental toughness. Be your best regardless of circumstance. Brill and I lived on 79th and West End Avenue on September 11, 2001. I was playing with the Giants. We played a Monday night game in Denver the night before. To have the mental toughness to respond to that like none other. The investment and the response by everybody here to come back, to come back from this greatest of tragedies is unbelievable. Be your best regardless of circumstance. There were some circumstances that day. So they decide to make the memorial and build this place. 2001 to 2015, it took a long time. 10 snowstorms, Hurricane Sandy. Think about the adversity that they had. They use the word resilience a lot when they talk about this building. Resilience, it's a great word. Bounce back, resilience. I think they're shortchanging the place. I do. I don't think it's resilience. I think it's bigger than that. I think it's stronger than that. Resilience is something happened to me, I bounce back, I get to neutral. That's not what this place is. You come back stronger, you come back better. Bigger, stronger, faster than I was before. That's what this place is. Okay, that's what this place is all about. And as I stood there for 12 minutes, and then I watched them again, 24 minutes, watching these voices, that's all I thought about. And I thought about this night. That's why we're here. The memorial is incredible. The elevator is incredible. The view is incredible. Think about the voices. Think about the people. The foundation of this building is bedrock, but really the foundation is people. And just remember why we're here and live it.